welcome or welcome back beautiful souls to the channel i'm seek your medicine woman and today i'm going to be sharing with you what you need to know about this aquarius full moon that is happening on august 1st 2023 in this video i'm going to be pulling out cards for you and channeling messages to really support you on how this aquarius full moon is going to affect you and before we get into the video make sure you give this video a thumbs up like subscribe put notification bells so you don't miss a video i do these videos every single week for beautiful souls and i'll be posting the aquarius full moon guided energy healing meditation for you guys in the next video um, which will be very supportive for you so cannot wait um i also want to share with you guys that i would love to invite you to the lion's gate healing beautiful healing portal that's happening on august 8th 2023 at 5 p.m eastern time we're going to be meeting via zoom and doing a breathwork ceremony for three hours where we'll be really tapping into the energy of abundance and clearing any cords any blocks that are preventing you from receiving abundance and i really feel like this is one of my favorite most powerful days of the year so if you get a chance definitely go check it out it's going to be seven days after the um aquarius full moon a lot of the things I'm talking about in the Aquarius full moon are very connected to the energy of this lion's gate. So it will support you a lot. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm happy to share that I'm opening my one-on-one -on -one, um, sessions this fall. So if you'd like to have a session with me, you can email me down below. And my last retreat, Ancestral Retreat, is going to be happening end of November. It's a plant medicine retreat for a week where we connect with our ancestors. And I know for all the karmic breakers, ancestral karmic breakers out there, this is going to be a very potent potent healing together so yeah cannot wait if you want to apply you can apply down below it's all in the link tree guys so just want to share that okay let's go into the Aquarius full moon I'm really feeling the heat behind me because I just put wood in the fire but we're here we're doing it um any Aquariuses let me know like are you Aquarius sun moon rising Venus where does it fall in your chart and how are you feeling if it's your first time here, put a rainbow emoji, introduce yourself. I love to meet you guys. And yeah, let's get into the energy update. So this Aquarius full moon is happening on August 1st, 2023, seven days before the Lionsgate portal, which is quite potent because this Aquarius full moon is all revolving about the energy of inner child, inner power, inner magic, and the way that we talk to ourselves in our mind the stories we create as a little child. And I always like to say as kids, we take things fully as it is, right? I'm sure you remember memories where maybe your parents used to say jokes or be sarcastic and as a child you would believe it. Or maybe you had an experience where someone would tell you something and you would just question it but also believe it. Children's auric field, their being, their energy is so open to everything, right? Um, so this is where we're coming to with this Aquarius full moon. It's the energy of power. These are the changers of the world. These are the energies of like, you know, they're great um, philip philanthropy. I can't even say that word. Philanthropy. Um, people, humanitarian, anything around that leaders. Um, they're the changers. They're the ones with the voice. They're the ones that shake up the world. And as a child, sometimes as light being star seeds and those that maybe see things differently, when we share it out loud, we are judged, right? And then we make ourselves think that what we said as a child was actually not our truth, but it really was. It just wasn't nourished, right? Um, so it's about Aquarius full moon is all about understanding and reconnecting with the truth and completely dissolving all the false truths that we were conditioned to mold and create because of our environments, because of our um, parents, because of the way we were, the people we were around as a child, and we're completely dissolving that energetically. So the first thing you need to know about this August 1st, 2023 Aquarius full moon three days before the dam and three days after is there is a lot of inner child healing focusing on your younger self and how they felt negatively judged. So 
think as a child where you started to alter the way you saw yourself. This could be physically, like let's say your hair or the way that you talked or the way that you had an imaginary friend. It could be those little things. It could be as simple as the way that you eat, those little practices you do as a child. All these things are ways that as our inner child we're exploring, we're intuitive, we're so intuitive with our everyday ceremony, which I always say, life is a ceremony. So here it's really understanding where did you alter what you were doing was wrong or judged or you had to second guess it, right? When did you have to second guess your power? When did you have to second guess your ability to create? When did you have to second guess your voice, your safety, your mind, your dreams, your connection to the outside world? Where did these stories start to create? And even as I'm talking right now, you might even really feel them. You can jot them down. You can journal it after if you feel called to. But this is like the string that's going to bring you to everything you need to know about this Aquarius full moon. The next thing you need to know about this Aquarius full moon that's happening on August 1st, 2023 is that we're being aware of our negative talk within us, right? Within yourself, within your being. How do you talk to yourself? You know, how do you step? Oh, this is really deep. Aquarius full moon's also talking about the understanding of like humiliation, right? Like tuning into when have our, has our inner child felt fearful, humiliated, jealous, judged, um, bullied, like these things are coming up really deeply and the way that we took that narrative and we became it. I always say that we're only what people say we are if we believe it and we stand true to it, right? Sometimes we stand true to it because we feel like we're such lack of worthiness. We're like, well, we might as well be the worst person ever. We might as well be this whatever X, Y, Z. And sometimes we attach to it because we think that's our only choice. So this is a freeing time. Aquarius is a freedom sign. It's like the freedom sign I find out of all of them. So you're freeing yourself from this negative talk. You're freeing yourself from these stories. You're freeing your inner child from the way that you feel shackled. You feel like imprisoned by your thoughts. And we're telling the thoughts shut off because we don't we don't need to be these stories we don't need those narratives anymore and we're getting into our body and we're feeling what is the feeling behind those thoughts why did you create that way of seeing yourself speaking to yourself it all starts at our young years and what's coming up for me is the age four like four to seven so connect with the age four to seven when what were you doing around that time even with the meditation that's coming up we go into inner child healing so that age may even come up and that will be really beautiful but i just heard age four to seven biggest emotions coming up for you is anger jealousy and fear so noticing what does anger have to teach me what does jealousy have to teach me and what does fear have to teach me about my inner child and when we can connect with that more we are then as i said full moons is all about releasing letting go clearing so it's like we're clearing that to create spaciousness so what's the opposite of anger? It's unconditional love, it's happiness, it's joy, it's peaceful, right? What's the, the opposite of jealousy? It's collaboration, it's celebration, it's honoring, it's gratitude, right? What's the opposite of fear? Excitement. So when we can anchor in, that is the energy that's most likely behind those emotions that were created based on the environment and the people that our inner child was around. And we're giving them spaciousness three days before the day of and three days after to finally process that memory, to finally process that story. A lot of the times when a child is going through something and they don't know how to react because this is where we are self-regulating our emotions. And when someone intervenes that self-regulation, we then create a belief of why we should reject that natural state. So for example, children know how to inner soothe themselves, whether that is like holding yourself or rocking yourself back to back and forth or even sucking your thumb. These are ways that the child innately knows how to soothe themselves. And when an adult, for example, intervenes that or puts or projects their own beliefs or triggers onto that, it creates anger, jealousy, and fear, right? If they project this aspect that, you know, you have to be competitive, you have to be the best of the best, that's gonna create the seed of jealousy, right? If they create fear, they're overprotective, or they have their own fears that they're now seeding back into the child and the lineage, 
that comes up too with this Aquarius full moon. Anger, right? Anger of like having a child that is part of you, that is triggering you every single day, reminding you of who you are in your inner child. Those are some examples. But for example, this Aquarius full moon is really focusing on honoring and creating that spaciousness of emotions because when we hit seven days after this we're stepping into lion's gate right and you cannot receive your fullest deepest abundance even though it's there and within you you're not seeking it outside of yourself if you're allowing these emotions and thoughts to be the narrative of your life that's just what it is you can do all the manifestation tools the meditations the coaching the mentoring all this stuff but if you don't really anchor into and embody the anger the jealousy the fear and give it spaciousness to look at it to look at that ugliness that emotion that's coming up then you're honestly just allowing it to fester right and then it's just going to be like look like let me speak and it's going to speak to you through situations through relationships through certain parts of your life so that's a deep one to, to kind of bring <laughs> and i'm curious to see if any of you are feeling any of these emotions or all of them and how is it playing a part of your life how is it over your mind or basically like hanging above your head and controlling you and how can you let that and surrender and drop it great revelations on thoughts on how we can work in community and not against each other so this is a big thing i'm seeing with aquarius full moon is all about like the power of collective the power of people the power beyond systems that's the energy i wouldn't be even surprised if during this time there's a big political thing that happens that really brings people to come together whether that's a protest whether that is um you know speaking a lot on social media and creating speaking or like revealing truth revealing truth within that that is deeply derived from anger jealousy and fear and through expressing that and exposing those people exposing those truths we're then allowing ourselves to step into love we're stepping into understanding and these are lessons for us as a human and as a collective um, to really turn the page for what's to come so here it's really great revelations about working with community instead of being jealous about things you're seeing that you are a part of something bigger i always tell people that like a lot of us we think so much about ourselves and our problems but at the end of the day it's the cosmic joke because we are just ants on this world trying to create trying to do exactly everything that we're doing the only definite thing is death and birth right so as we move through it and it's eternal when we connect with that energy of the full moon in aquarius it's telling us that like instead of just wasting all this time on the negative talk on the not allowing your inner child to have spaciousness on the jealousy on the anger on the fear why don't we step into connecting with other people and empowering one another and um, not being afraid to be seen and to speak your truth and to speak in love and to speak the excitement of what you want to see in this world and this is like a collective a collective message i'm receiving so yeah there's a big revelation that's happening that's going to be outside of you that's going to make you really feel i don't want to feel say small because i'm right now i'm in peru and i was walking with one of my sisters and I, I said you know when you're walking in the valley here in the sacred valley it makes you really feel like you're an ant right and sometimes we think we're as we're big as mountains but we're really not that big sometimes right like that's our mind that's our ego that makes us think that it's me it's about me it's about me being the mountain but it's like look around you you're not just the only mountain, right? You're not just the only ant either. There's a there's a pun, it's either or. So regardless of how you see yourself, think outside of yourself, but connect with within yourself. So connecting with your truth and allowing that to manifest and see what chords and what relationships and what revelations are being shown to you. And your inner child will show you. They will show you through the magic of themselves after you've given them spaciousness to let go of that judgment. And if that judgment didn't exist, how would your inner child act? How creative would your inner child be? How um, imaginative would your inner child be, right? Think about that. If you didn't have the judgments you did for this lifetime, how would you act? Who would you be today? That is where we come back to a remembering knowing that there is no such thing as being behind or you know rather there's divine timing you know there's this idea when we connect with jealousy anger and fear is like 
I wish I did my healing sooner, or I wish I learned this lesson, or I wish I did this, or I wish I integrated that. It's like, the more you hold that negative talk and the more you're just going back, the past, you can never bring it back. The present is now. The future is undefined and only given. It's a grace of, it's a gratitude, it's a gift. So all you have right now is the present. So the more that you can connect with the presence of what is here and understanding that what was is, is and will be and is the past, but how can I take the lesson of what was, such as my inner child and the emotions that they weren't able to process and see how I can step forward and start changing the page, turning the page, being that change in my emotions. And again, everything is emotion. The thought means absolutely nothing. You've got to track the emotion. And when we can track the emotion, the thoughts dissipate and we step into the truth. And the truth is all that matters. So we really need to connect with that divine timing. Everything is divine timing. You can have the most control in the world, but no matter what, the way things will move and operate in this world, in this universe, you are not the driver sometimes, even all the time, right? We're not the driver. We can only do so much. And yes, there's all about, you know, boundaries and self-awareness. And yeah, there is that. But at the end of the day, there's a, there's a bigger, greater energy. And we can all resonate with that because you guys are all watching this video. So you can definitely resonate with that. Competition is coming from the wounded ego who will be revealed. So if you are feeling that there is some part of you that's being triggered and you can't hold it, well, whoa, you are going to project that in your community. You're gonna project that in your relationships. And that's gonna come back in a way of love, right? So I am seeing this time, like just kind of this unexpected revelation of people's true colors. Just know that's their inner little boy, girl, or being, right? So what part of their inner self is just feeling really triggered here? Um, and we're seeing this and, and this brings me to my next part that's really important understanding your part in group settings and what gifts that we bring as well as everyone else right so how do you act around the group I know for some people including myself when I'm in a group I feel more closed off because I feel uncomfortable I'm like ooh, I'm so I, I like to be in my own energy I like to have more one-on-one -on -one time but it's because of my experience of having very judgmental groups attacking me as my inner child. So it's been a process and a learning journey of me not thinking that a group of people are gonna harm me, attack me, hurt me, right? So it's understanding what is your energy when you're alone and when you're with certain groups of people. And you're gonna see that because universe is gonna create an orchestrate away three days before the day of and three days after August 1st, 2023 for this Aquarius full moon for you to see what is your part in group and where do you disassociate in groups and where do you avoid and where do you become a victim in a group or put victimhood on yourself? And where is that coming from emotionally? What is the story that creates that way of pulling yourself out of a situation or thinking you're too much or like avoiding or isolation. These things are all going to reveal itself during the Aquarius full moon because you got to show up. It's like those who aren't showing up and being in the space of, of being part of the bigger picture, like you're being called out during this Aquarius full moon. And those of you who are showing up, you're being celebrated and you're getting weaved with other people to connect with you and to see the same thing you're seeing that your inner child wanted. It's almost like, their inner child, your inner child, and a group of you are all having a little party and getting creative and just putting out all of these ideas out there and manifestations and, you know, understandings of the world and creating spaciousness to talk about that in a safe space and how you're going to really connect and expand beyond what you know. Um, and I always say your environment is what shapes you. The people you know is what shapes you. And this is where you get that revealing of truth during this Aquarius full moon. Who shaped you before and who's shaping you now? That's really what it's about. Aquarius is like, who's shaping you before? Who's shaping you now? This is all about, you know, whether that is schools, work, family, friends, strangers, like who is shaping you right now in your life? And where are we being self-aware of our emotional being, who we are emotionally, how we're holding our emotions and showing up in that emotional space and where it wants to be revealed, right? And again, this will come up in social environments a lot for you three days before the day of and three days after. So the last thing I wanna share, stepping into our hearts of community. Again, Aquarius is all about like impact, revelation, justice, like, it's about making the noise, making the impact. So we can't do that alone. And there's no reason for us to all, each one of you to hold the weight of the world. 
you know, Aquarius full moon's about, are you holding the weight of the world? And if you are, this is not a time to do that. It's time to let that go. When did you, when were you told that you have to hold the weight of the world? Maybe because jealousy wise, you were brought up to be competitive, right? And with that created the shadow of jealousy if someone was better than you. And in doing that, you know, you completely blocked your heart. It's not about, you know, connecting with that person, being sincere. It's about making sure that that person get, can't get to me and I'm the best of the best right? Anger, same thing. It's like that anger, that revelation. I don't love myself. So if I just be angry, people hate me, then at least I have that power, right? So why? Like, who cares? This is who I am. Take it or leave it. That, that energy is like the wounded. That's the ego talking. Same thing with fear. Fear, same thing. It's like the excitement. It's like, can I hold this? Like what is to come? The great mystery, the, the fear of the unknown, all these things are coming up. So it's, it is a very impactful, potent time to be in. And it's an honor to get to connect with you guys with this because it's really, I really want you to take away how am I going to show up on a bigger scale? You know, I'm not the mountain and I'm not the ant, or maybe I'm both. But regardless, how can I step up in this world, whether I'm the mountain in the end, right? Because it's not just about me. There's a bigger, there's a bigger orchestrated event that's happening here. Whew, that was deep. Okay, guys, I have four cards for you. I pulled them before. I pulled, um, did the, the video for you guys. Four is awakening, realization. Like I said, you guys are gonna be woken up during this full moon. Big, big, big shift. Pono Pono, the fact that I'm pulling this card and this is actually the sacral chakra of the world and guess where it's located? In Peru. Where am I right now channeling this? In Peru. So <laughs> I know this card is definitely for us. Um, a measurable power of the heart way. So again, it's like really connecting with heart led. We even see around here, there's a full moon, right? Around in the back. So it's like really connecting to seeing that your heart is the power that we need in this world um, and not closing that off to what we were taught before. I'm gonna read the first bit of this card for you guys, 27. If anyone likes twos and sevens or maybe connects with it. The divine within your heart has the power to transform a situation that is troubling you. Do not intimidate or think of it too much for you or spirit to handle. Do not allow yourself to intellectualize or analyze situations to point the feeling confused or paralyzed. Any or all issues that are plagued uh, that have plagued you or loved you, one can and will be healed in the heart. Let your heart feel and the faith it needs to feel so that it is rest and enjoy. Sorry for that my words. Divine healing wants to flow abundantly for you. Open up to receive without hesitation and condition. So here it's really saying again, get out of the mind, stop analyzing everything. Stop like overthinking everything. Like you're doing things wrong. You have to focus on in your body where the emotion is and um, don't let the analyzation to paralyze you and to allow you to be in the hamster wheel of things because it's not going to help you. <laughs> it's just, again, cosmic joke. It's just not going to help us. The next card that we have here is the Kanyani, which is a beautiful card. I love this card. Actually, I'm going to make sure you guys can see it. Oh, there, you can see it. This, to me, is like the divine connection and collective connection of the animal kingdom. We got Father Sky holding, anchoring. We got Mother Earth. We got the knowledge wisdom of the owl. And then we got the um, eagle in between, knowledge, wisdom, see the bigger picture. Then we have cat energy here, which is power, protection, and grandmother wisdom. There are three things I want to point out here. In each other, we find ourselves. So in your grandparents is a morphing or a recarnation of you. Every lineage you've had before is a recarnation of their inner child that is within you. So most likely their story is planted and seeded in you. The fears, the jealousy, the anger is all within you. And most likely if someone projected those things to you or you were the victim on the other end, that still lives within them. So it's seeing how can we really take our mind, just like I said, the mountain and the ant and the ant and the mountain, if you feel small or if, you, if your ego is riding the, the driving wheel, 
Regardless of what it is, it is time for you to look at the bigger picture. It is time for you to take that eagle perspective and see what is being played here. What is the orchestrated event of the collective and where it is playing in your world? And if you do that, you will see a big shift. And again, going back to the last new moon we had in Cancer, Law of Efficiency, we can really connect and be more efficient with where we need to go. Healing is indicated especially of wounds about connection and trust, safety and tribe, belonging and permission of a unique individual. For those of you who haven't felt like you're part of a tribe, this is triggered you know, a lot during this time, whether it's someone falls out on a, on a meeting up or maybe someone from a past experience or you see a post of someone that um, is hanging out and used to be friends with them. Like these things are coming up for a reason at the physical level more vitally and ample energy that is healing are indicated at a spiritual level it is deepening awareness of the unified consciousness and opening up within you which will bring you into a deeper divine communion and increase your effectiveness of healing presence sacred activist in the world what did i say about aquarius it's all it's an activist it's like you're doing something here bigger than you. There's a reason why each and every single one of us, I'm not saying that everyone needs to be healer. That's not what I'm saying for you to do. <laughs> We're all healers in our own way at the end of the day, but it's like, you need to find what is your contribution to this world. You have the destiny to fulfill and there will be so much help in different ways for in different people to fulfill it. The universe wants you to succeed. Do not hesitate or ask and receive assistance and fulfillment of your mission and helping others. So again, if all of this is resonating, come to Lionsgate. This is really the energy we're stepping into, is stepping into seeing the bigger picture of abundance, seeing the bigger picture of an abundant life, an abundant being, and clearing out the cords and how we've been looking at the wrong place, having the eagle's eye and really seeing the bigger picture of things seeing ourselves as abundance as much as calling in abundance because when you're calling in abundance you're calling in yourself right so when you call that in you're asking yourself what is the bigger picture how are you making an impact in this world that is the abundance it's not the money it's not the the wood just the fire just responded to that it's not the money it's not the relationship that has every tick that you want on the list it's not um, the fact that you can be loved by other people outside of yourself. It's actually quite simple. It's just really understanding that we are in someone else and we are all the same essence. That's the truth, right? But there's everything in your world that you're going through right now, emotionally, jealousy, anger, and fear divides us all and divides yourself, your soul to this human body. And the inner child is where they have so much to share with you during this Aquarius full moon that's happening on August 1st, 2023. So again, let them speak, give them spaciousness to share with you. And I have a guided energy healing meditation that I'll be sharing with you guys too, but please make sure you go to the lion's gate. You won't regret it. We have the last card here, which is the hummingbird energy. Look at this card. And this one is um, Kante, which is the sweet paradox of the empowering grace. Ooh, I've never pulled this card out of this deck. Hummingbird is the totem of life, the sweetness of life, the nectar of life, the joy of life. And seeing that we can have that again, even if some of us had to grow up as an inner child to reclaim it once again. When there is something within your heart that you know you are in this planet to accomplish, you shall be given an equal grace, power, talent, and ability to succeed in that passion. This is the gr this is the divine per promise and sacred plan for you. If a miracle is required for the success, then you shall be given prayer with courage, confidence, for the rightfulness, divine inheritance, and allow your bold heart and loving soul to believe in your beautiful, hopeful destiny. Again, this is all about believing and knowing the paradox of all these pains. There's just this laughter after you release it and let it go and dissolve it because that is why you're here. These things like jealousy, anger, and fear had to come into your field to have you complain and receive the prayer of understanding why am I here? What's my purpose is, right? What's my mission? What's my power? What's my talent? What's my ability? Your ability is if you are able to move through this energy and emotion, there's such a deep grace of joy and power and transmission that's going to come through you during this full moon in Aquarius and it is the deepest inheritance from the divine that your soul has been calling in so last card I have is the spiritual decree which I love this card and I'm going to actually read part of it with you it's 41 
this card is like, these cards are pretty deep, so I like to just put the first bit. You have been wondering what will happen next in your life, not releasing how much power you have to decide that for yourself. What do you wish to have happen next? Are you willing to use your divine birthrights or free will voice and empowerment to set the cosmic wheels in motion? If your answer is yes, then it is time to speak to the truth to the universe. I kept saying truth, truth, truth. Decree it and you shall be it. It's not a time to complain about how these emotions are controlling your life and looking at the small things. It's about claiming it beyond everything that's showing up because again, those things don't define you. This is your birthright to be. In okay, sorry guys, my <laughs> my lamp, my camera, again shifted. I forgot where I left off, but I will continue where I feel is good to left leave off. Um, so here, like I said, spiritual decree is really talking about claiming what's next, not waiting, not waiting for the card reader to tell you what it is or me to tell you. <laughs> it's about really stepping into the power of like, you know, your divine birth, right? No one else knows it, but you, right? There is this guidance of me sharing maybe jealousy, power, and all those things, the inner child, those little crumbs. And so does the universe. But at the end of the day, it's only you your soul, excuse me, that knows the cosmic power that's here and the wheel that it plays. And when you spin that wheel with the cosmos, you are landing on your birthright. It's not just happening just by chance. You are landing on the birthright and the situation that your inner child has spinned on and has chosen and has written. And so it is. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a really good time channeling this Aquarius full moon and also being in the mountains i don't know if you guys you guys can probably not see but the mountains are right behind me probably can't see it um but it's so beautiful and it's such an honor to get to channel it with you guys here and be here with you guys and connect and just knowing that ooh, let me just move that there we go. <laughs> Just knowing that this Aquarius full moon is going to be potent, powerful. It's literally seven days before the Lion's Gate. I even see them as together. Like it's an ombre effect to the Lion's Gate. It is the gates are opening right now. So again, really tuning into that. What are you calling in? What is your cosmic wheel? Where did you land on? What is your soul calling in? See yourselves as other people and tuning into that and coming into this humbleness through the heart. But then don't don't discredit your power. You're as powerful as the mountain and the ant. Remember that analogy. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know down below what resonated with you, how you're feeling, what's coming up for you. The next video is going to be the meditation for you love. So you can do three days before the day of and three days after. So make sure you subscribe, like, share this with other friends. And ooh, you guys almost fell. <laughs> and also just stay tuned because there's lots to come. And uh, if you haven't, make sure you come to the Lion's Gate. It's happening in seven days as of the first. Um, you can sign up down below. We're going to be doing a three-hour breathwork healing and expansive ceremony. Um, we'll be doing a breathwork. We'll be doing an opening space, setting intentions and closing space. I'll be doing healing as well with you guys during this experience. And we get to be literally in ceremony, the peak of the portal. So it's going to be amazing and real and just whoo, cosmic magic. So you can go and sign up down below. And if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one this fall, you can send me an email. That information's in my link tree. And my untold stories ancestral retreat is still open so if you're interested in coming to the ancestral retreat that's happening end of november i'd love to see you there um, we're tuning into the patterns of our ancestors clearing that for us and all those before and after and if you feel like a disconnect with your ancestors then this is going to be a very beautiful and reclaiming retreat for you so you can fill out the google form and i will message you if it feels aligned so I'm wishing you the best Aquarius full moon. Thank you for joining me, being here, sharing your magic, sharing your medicine, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.